jokes aside, I mean, if we don't tell our own stories, we shouldn't get pissed off when people tell our stories wrong. You know, we need to start being accountable for our stories, you know? Untainted Podcast, we're back, season two. Wait, wait, season three. Season, season three. three. Season three. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Yo, Impressive. what a journey. What a journey. What a yeah, journey. Yeah. What a journey and a half. Uh, guys, we're back. Um, Welcome to the new year. And um, yeah, man. We're talking business. Ta- w- w- okay, let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> let me start with, yeah. how are you, my brother? I'm um, well yourself, my brother. Ah, uh, no, I can't complain, my man. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, I think for, the, for this new year and new period, I always want to start and asking business uh, people, how are you doing? How am I doing? <laughs> how are you? How are you? Like, like jokes aside, you are a business person, but like, uh, how are you? Um, I'm pretty good. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty good. I mean, mentally, physically, spiritually, I'm in a good space in right good now. Space. Yeah. But uh, I, I would say I've been, I've been in the worst space at, uh, um, during this lockdown. But yeah, right now, yeah, I'm on my feet. I'm, I'm in a good space. Okay, cool, man. Yeah. Let's jump into the interview. Um, yeah. I think before we even jump into anything serious, uh, please introduce yeah. yourself and what do you do? Do me ngan, in short. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Ke Nyaka Lomkwena, and uh, I'm the founder of Mkofana, which is a coffee company um, from South Africa here. Yeah. yeah. I think I bumped into you guys um, in Spooking. I think okay. it was that thing, some party, they used to happen every month where every, every Oh, the Val Sunday market. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, where yeah, I, yeah that's where yeah. I bumped into the brand. I'm like, oh my God, wow. okay, cool. And I started uh, investigating <laughs> just to find out that you're from Sasol. Yeah, I'm from Sasol. Yeah, so yeah. the business operates in Sasol. Operates in Sasol. Okay. Yeah, cool. but but at the time then we were mobile. Yeah. Yeah, we were mobile. We used to attend events like um, Sunday Val Market and other events. And we did have a shop also. In Mabonin, that was uh, 2017. This is quite a while back. Mm. Yeah, we had the shop in 2017, closed it. Yeah, and then from there, you know, um, we stopped doing the 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 the, the, um, the markets and everything, and we just focused on uh, producing, manufacturing the product from from scratch, and started packaging. And yeah, that's where we are now. Um. I think my first question is, where did the love of coffee all begin? <laughs> <laughs> um, so actually, you know, man, to be honest, um, I bumped into this thing, um, this coffee thing, this industry, something that I, you know, I just stumbled upon. Um, and uh, in 2014, I used to do promotional works for um, Oasis Water. And what I was doing was distributing, marketing their brand here around here in the Val. And uh, I noticed a challenge, um, especially in winter. Um, we weren't doing a lot of sales in terms of bottled water and so forth. And that's when I was like, nah, I need to uh, fill this gap. Because mm-hmm. I already had a client base, but now I wanted to fill this gap. And um, that's when, you know, it's like, okay, maybe a hot beverage would do. And, you know, um, started doing a bit of research you know, but not that full in-depth um, research. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to start um, uh, a coffee brand, you know. But at the time, you know, I was more focused on just building the brand that serves coffee. So I was just going to uh, have a nice branding, cups and everything, but I was probably going to use somebody's coffee that it already exists on the market. And that's when I, you know, when I started, before I actually started um, selling coffee, I started learning about different types of coffee. And then the more I started learning about different types of coffee, that's when I realized I can actually um, have my own product and I don't have to use anybody else's. Mm. And, you know, um, that's where, you know, my interest and love started building from there Mm. because um, I I got exposed to a whole different world that I I never thought existed. You know, I mean, um, we started with getting coffee from um, Rwanda then. Um, I didn't know there was coffee from Rwanda. I didn't know what a coffee bean was, and I didn't I didn't even know the processes of how it was made. You know, but um, the more I was in, the the more I learned because now you get the coffee bean as as a green bean, but there's different types of them. I mean, we can have a farm about three, four, five farms. You know, in Rwanda, and the coffee is gonna taste 
pretty much not the same. Mm. It's going to be different. Mm. There's going to be different types of flavors. So you will have a cupping session, you know, like just to taste this one, taste this one, taste that one. And until you get to the one that you want, you mm. can blend them, you know. And the more you do that, you just like, just... You just fall in love. It's just know. opening the palate. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 you just fall in love because yeah, now yeah. you understand. Because I remember I was chilling with this other guy. Um, he's actually from South Africa and he owns a farm in in Rwanda. And when he came and then, I mean, when he came to South Africa, he called me and then we went to his house. And then we were having this cupping. And then he was like, no, man, that's not how you taste coffee. I mean, when you taste coffee, you must make that <laughs> sound. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, but you know, that's a bit, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, just drink. He's like, no. And it's like, no, if the reason why you drink, you taste like that is because then you're going to taste all the flavors. You're going to taste all the notes. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to understand, okay, this is, this is a bit acidic. This is a bit sweet. You know, that's, ha- that's how you actually get to profiling it mm-hmm. and knowing, okay, this one tastes nutty. This one tastes chocolatey. You know, then you can build it. And th- then you have a profile for your bean. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, oh, this is so amazing. You know, like, you know, I can't, you, you, you can't just get that information and then not love it yeah true you know even even with chocolates you know um i don't you discover that it's like i mean we in south africa here we we, we eat a lot of these milked chocolates yeah milky chocolates yeah. What, what would you, top deck? So you know yeah yeah and, yeah. and, and the best chocolate is dark chocolate <laughs> you know it's a bit bitter <laughs> I, I, I yeah I, yeah i admit it's a bit bitter but once you you, you get uh, you you eat it a few times, but you 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 eat it to learn or and and, and identify those things. You you know you 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 get hooked.